What is good, good people? You are now listening to another episode of A Wicked Good Time with Danny Foxworth. I am your humble narrator, Danny Foxworth. And once again, we have an extremely special guest. You know her, you love her. She's been on this podcast numerous times. My mom, Myron Foxworth, a.k.a. Mom Dukes. How are you this evening? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. So we're going to sniff some candles and we're going to talk about some some random topics. So first thing I want to talk about is you and dad went to go see a musician by the name of Eric Gales at the at uh, the music farm in Charleston last Friday. So I'm curious to know how that how that uh, how that experience was for you. That experience was really well. Um, the music farm is an amazing venue in that it allows for, you know, a pretty intimate setting. And um, it was good. It was really good. Um, his opening act, uh, Matthias Latina, Latin from Houston, um, was very much like uh, Gary Clark. And, uh, which you know, and I love Gary Clark. So I was really pleased that that was the opening act. And um, young guy, like 22. And uh, then, you know, Eric Gills came on and did what he does. I mean, he really entertained royally. And um, at the end, he actually went to the merch table to sign, um, you know, sign products and to meet the fans. And I thought that was pretty cool because, you know, then that way we got to take a picture with him. Your dad was like, man. I got to be because I asked him. I said, "Do you want to go up there and meet him?" And he's like, "I don't care." And I said, "Okay." So, so we stood in line and did that. Um, but it was really good, and I just love how music just brings people together. Yeah, people, it really is awesome. Yeah, people from all backgrounds were all having the same response to good music. It was it was great. It's it's funny how music can just bring the people together like that. And you also mentioned that it was a bass player that was yeah. from North Charleston. Yeah. So Eric Gales' bass player is from North Charleston. Um, I cannot remember his name, but young guy. He looked like he was in his twenties as well. Great bass player. I mean, he wasn't he wasn't flashy um, and out of the box like some basses like Victor Wooten. Mm-hmm. You know, he just held it down. I, it it was just really awesome to to you know to to envi- to see it and see somebody that young his family was there and they kept yelling his name out and he okay. kept smiling it's like <laughs> oh y'all make me embarrassed <laughs> but it was a good show I'm good I'm glad that you and dad got to enjoy yourselves a little to you know kids like to have a nice night on the town every now and then absolutely so the first candle we're going to get into is the non food and beverage scented candle which is Hidden Springs. I went to Walmart for these two candles. This one is from the Mainstays brand, which is the Walmart brand. And this one has notes of marine moss, citrus, and driftwood. So I'm going to crack this open. Ah, three wicks. Three wicks. So, um, yeah, I can definitely get the, uh, the citrus notes in here. The citrus is definitely, in my opinion, the, more, the most dominant uh, notes in this, in this candle. So... You take a, a nose gander, if you will. It's really clean smelling. Yeah. Um, not at all what I thought with the driftwood in there. I thought it would be a little bit more heavy, but it's very light. Yeah. And normally when I see, whenever I see candles this color, I normally associate candles this color with a clean smell. So, oh, again, okay. I I just bought this, you know, smell and, smell and sniffed instead of sight, as opposed to sight unseen. So... Next thing I want to talk about is shout out my guy Baylor. He has a he has a great podcast called BTG for President. And for this week's episode, he really went on a on a uh really went on a tangent about beverages. And it got me to thinking about some discontinued beverages that I enjoyed. So my question to you is what's one beverage what's one discontinued beverage that you wish would make a resurgence? Well, you could light the candle before I tell you. Yeah, I can do that. Thank you. Look at look at that. Four brains better than two, or two brains better than one. I'm just slipping all pa- I'm slipping all past the protocol. So, what uh, beverage is discontinued that you wish would make a return? Jungle juice. Oh, <laughs> jungle yes. juice. Yes. There's nothing that beats jungle juice. Oh my gosh, you are 100 percent right. I. Jungle juice was like the lifeblood of my teenage years. I remember it used to be in the little carton. Yep. 
and used to sell it at the pantry cor- the pantry uh, convenience store. And I remember every every time we we left choir rehearsal, I would go to we go to the pantry in Jedburgh, and I would get a carton of the jungle juice <laughs> and a bag of the Andy Caps hot fries, yeah, and I was yeah. I was set for the rest of the day. Man, so and you know what? Clearly, Canadian was on that list too. Until I realized that they actually sell, still sell yeah, clearly I Canadian. Got some of that not too long ago. I was like, man, this yeah, is all right good. right here. If they would just bring back the pina colada flavored um, fruitopias. Oh yes. Oh man, not fruitopia. It was um, it was soby. Mm-hmm. But that was my go. It, it was it was a pina colada flavor, yep. but fruitopia as well. Yeah. Man, the amount of coins I used to drop in the soda machine to get my fruitopia. Man, I, I I drop more coins than I care to admit, but that's another story for another day. But while we're on the subject of beverages, I'm not going to sniff the uh, be- food and beverage, food slash beverage scented candle, which is also a mainstays brand. This one is, I mean, the holidays are right around the corner. It's like as soon as, as, soon as October left, all of a sudden... You know, Mariah Carey's making posts about, you know, it's time for her music to be played. Shoot, I put up a tree today. You did? Yes. Oh, you already on it. Man, you on it like a hornet. <laughs> so uh, this one is Cookies and Cocoa. I mean, tis the season and whatnot. This one also a mainstays brand. The notes are hot cocoa, marshmallows, and warm cookies. Now, this one is, is very uh, festive. They got knit hats and snowflakes and candy canes and, and knit gloves on this, so... Yeah, I'm going to give this one a whirl. So I'm cracking the top on this. This one is also three wicks. Yeah, this one. I definitely get the cocoa in this one. This one, you can take a take a sniff of it. This is definitely in the in the piss my dad off category. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's quite as high as the, the strawberry pound cake candle that I smell, but this one is, this one is a, uh, this one is, this one does the job. Yeah. Man, this reminds me of, the winter days when I would come home from school and dad would be sitting in his, on his couch watching Westerns and he'd have the, he'd have his, his Nestle, his hot Nestle quick and like a half a loaf of the sunbeam bread in his hand, <laughs> man, this it's funny how like Bridges, sense can yeah. each can just instantly trigger a memory. Absolutely. It's wild how the senses work like that. Absolutely. So now I'm going to uh, light this one up and set this one off to the side so so far, I'm I'm liking both of these candles. Um, how about you? I I am too. You know, I don't do the food candles. For some reason, I just they're not my thing. Um, but that one right there is definitely worth a try. I like that. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I got you. Got to set a you got to set a hidden cam whenever you light it. <laughs> so when Dad comes in, he's like, "Hey, I made cocoa. I even got you some sunbeam bread." And you walk in, and he's like, "Where's it at?" And you point to the candle like, ha, ha. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that would be great. Or give it to somebody you're like, okay, instead of cookies this year, I'm giving you that. <laughs> okay. I'll take that. I mean, you know me. I'm a sucker for candles. I mean, hence the reason I have a podcast. But uh-huh. next topic. It was another thing that popped up in my head. Somewhere in the, kind of in the veins of a discontinued beverage, but not. But I was thinking about what are some things that you really don't appreciate slash take for granted until you're in the moment of experiencing it. Because, well, while you ponder that, it's actually two things that I have. The first thing I would say is the sun. No, you never really realize how bad you need the sun until you don't get it. And it's, you get multiple days of cloudiness and you just, the, the energy and your mood is just not at, at peak levels. And sometimes I'll be at work and I'm like, man, this day is dragging. And then next thing you know, I come back from lunch and then the sun peaks out and I'm like, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. And I'm just looking up. I'm like, man, this is good to see you back. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so, it's so great how the sun can just, instantly boost your mood it should yeah. and how yeah i mean this also provides vitamin d correct so i mean you that's the vitamin d is a necessity so that's that's one thing and the other thing that you don't really know you want or the thing you don't really know that you need until you get it is a good back scratch 
Oh, man. There's nothing like a back scratch that will just instantly stop you in your tracks. And then whenever they stop scratching your back, I'm like, why'd you stop? <laughs> I'm, I'm over here enjoying myself. I didn't want to, you know, I don't want to go full dog and just start doing my back leg like this here. <laughs> but, man, I'm telling you. It's every, true. Yeah, and every now and then, I'll be in the house. And sometimes I'll just get the notion. I'll just... Scratch my back against the against the uh, the like a bear. The, yeah, in the walkway, <laughs> just like a bear. So, um, how about you? Mm, I don't know. That's a hard one. Um, probably a moment in silence. Yeah. Um, you know, because it's always so much conversation, so much um, flooding your all your senses, and so when I get to a place that I can just be completely still and not have anything going, but maybe hearing the birds or, um, you know, like hearing a wa the waterfall or something like that. Then I'm like, oh, this is just what I needed. Because you automatically feel your shoulders drop. Mm -hmm. You know, you automatically know your blood pressure is coming down. And you're just like, okay, I don't need any noise, no music, no nothing, no entertainment. Just let me be in this space. And oftentimes that that will happen to me when I'm in the hammock, you know, when okay. I just, when I'm just laying out there looking up at the sky, no real thoughts, no real agenda, um, and then I realize, man, this is what I needed. I guess I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, you already got plans for the weekend. I yep. love it, man. That's such a great point that you make, especially with the low, you know, just taking the tension out of your shoulders and unclenching your jaw and just. Taking those, just taking those deep breaths in yeah, and just realizing that you can, all the things that are troubling you, just put those on the shelf yep. and just be still and be in the moment. Like you said. Yeah. So man, I enjoyed doing this episode with you. I did too. And that's all right. We get to talk and learn things about each other and sniff some candles. Yeah. And who knew you would be a candle, candle freak like me. All right. <laughs> like who knew? Who knew? Yeah, I tell you, COVID, COVID has a of, uh, has a uh, funny way of opening your uh, opening your your tastes and and whatnot. Yeah, but not in a bad way, you know. Right. I think it gave us permission again to slow down. We were forced to. That's true. And in that in that place of being slow, um, we we used our energies in other ways, more creative ways, which always feeds your soul, yeah. you know, like digging in the dirt, planting flowers, you know, building something or working on a project. It feeds your soul and that causes your mental health to be so much better. Yeah. So much better. So it, ultimately the uh, moral of the story, feed your soul, buy some candles. Yes. Yes. Cause fragrances always help. Always. And so again, thank you so much for being the guest on here. You're this welcome. was in incredible yay <laughs> so it's my pleasure yeah so thank you for being on and thank you for listening make sure you like download and subscribe to sit to um excuse me i'm getting caught up here so many i'm just this is just one podcast recording after another a wicked good time with danny foxworth make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel at danny foxworth 843 there you can find all the videos for all of the episodes of this podcast as well as my other podcast which is since we last spoke with danny foxworth my baseball podcast, At the Plate with Danny Foxworth. My podcast, uh, Growing Up Low Country with Liz and Danny, which is about, well, growing up low country with my one of my longest tenured friends. Well, actually, my longest tenured friend ever, Liz. And be on the lookout. That's a new. There's a new episode of that coming up soon with a special guest. And for mom and myself, this has been another episode of A Wicked Good Time. And until next time, y'all be good. Keep it lit. I like that. <laughs>